Welcome to the Lunch and Judy Show. The Lunch and Judy Show. Whoa, whoa. It's time to chat with Judy Stad on the Lunch and Judy Show. Hello, darlings. How you doing? I have some wonderful news about uh, Millie from the Bronx. Remember that? Well, I don't know if you do remember, but she made a, a, a video for YouTube, and it got onto Facebook. And it's like it's, people are going nuts over this Millie from the Bronx. So we thought we would interview her and find out how this all started. And I thought I would let my co-host do that because he's been begging me for a little bit more to do on the show. So... Okay, but you better do a good job, okay? Yeah, I could do a good job. What, you think you're the only one that can talk to people? No, I never said that, but this is uh, like a virgin voyage for you. You haven't done this before. That's right. That's why you gave me, you know, Millie from the Bronx and not some wonderful hotshot producer from Broadway. You keep those for yourself. Well, let's not forget whose show it is. After all, it is the Lunch and Judy show. It's not the Lunch and the Phantom show. Well, you made me the Phantom. I didn't, I wasn't always a phantom until you created me, and you want it that way. All right, we need to have some kind of a, a moderator here because we're starting to get a little bit angry here. This is a radio show. This is not a, a place for you to go and air your troubles. So I want you to think about this, the two of you, please do not do this. This is supposed to be entertaining radio. Yes, I know Dr. Schadenfreude, but he's, you know, he's not, he's just ungrateful. I thought I would do this for him, give him him an opportunity to talk to uh, Millie from the Bronx because she's becoming famous. You know, she's going to have a reputation on YouTube and on everywhere. And who knows what could happen to her. She's a a very positive person. And then she's a, she's a senior that's like yelling and uh, letting out steam, which a lot a lot of seniors would love to do, but they don't. So this is going to be a wonderful opportunity, She's an old you know, for for Millie and and uh, for uh, this guy over here. But he's not. He's very ungrateful. Ungrateful? I don't know what you're talking about. You are really becoming some egotistical monster. You know that, Julie? You really should take a hold of yourself. Okay, this is getting out of hand here. We have to stop this because talk. Because I earned my spot here. You're not doing me any favors. Nobody said anything about favors, okay? I don't know what you're talking about either. I am what makes this show interesting. Come on. What, are you going to be just talking to yourself for an hour? This has to stop. This is ridiculous. You don't air your dirty laundry on the radio, please. I'm going to put on a tune because this is it's getting out of hand. I'll, I'll talk to you off the air. Like I'm really worried. Fine. I'll talk to you off the air. Oh. Okay, children, we're going to play something with Ginger Rogers and Irving Berlin's song, and maybe then you can both calm down. <laughs> Don't let yourself go. 